Villa steaming in from the city end. I think there's uh, 16,000 odd people here and they all shouted. It's Graham Wood is LBW to Chris Ole, the first wicket down for England. Just two runs on the board and 151 in all needed. And Chris Ole has achieved the breakthrough. Australia 14 for one. That's a good stroke. That's really racing away. Gowers after it. May just catch it, but concedes it. And the first four. Oh, there's a big shot, and that's it. Bob Willis has done it. Dyson is out. LBW. It didn't get up very high. It came back a wee bit off the wicket. And Dyson is out for 13. And the second Australian wicket goes down at 19. And every England player is around Big Bob Willis. And this time, John Dyson doesn't go forward. So he's trying to come back now. And it keeps low, really. That's what did him. Oh, it's a beautiful stroke, but straight down that man's throat. John Emery's done it. A beautiful looking stroke, but he obviously didn't keep it down, and he hit the only man down at deep back of square leg, John Embry, and it was right down his throat, and Kim Hughes is gone. And that's edge and it's dropped. Very low, difficult chance. In fact, I suppose there must be some doubt from our position here whether that carried. Get a better look from the camera at the far end. Very full length. He's edged it. Oh, yes. Just carried near Mike Brearley's right boot at first slip. Uh, that's beaten Gar. Willis is the man out on the boundary. He will cut it off. No, he won't. That's a fine stroke. Beautifully timed and an indication of just how quick that outfield is. 50 up. 52 for three. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. Uh, glorious shot there through the covers by Alan Border. Over pitch ball, a half volley from Chris Old. And that's going through, four runs. Another no ball put away down to long leg, giving uh, Yallop a free hit there. So he made the most of it. See the umpire's signal already out there. So 82 on the board now, the 50 partnership between these two left-handers. And that's going away again, and it's four more, and this is uh, Graham Yallop's answer this time. And remarkably to recount that this is the best partnership of any wicket on either side in the match. That gives Embry a chance to uh, have a spin this time at Graham Yallop. Border has taken most of him over the last few overs. Yeah! And he's gone. <laughs> Tremendous shout going up there. And Yallop goes, Embry has made the breakthrough. Is it too late? That's the question to be asked.
So Yallop goes for 30, four men out now for 87. Very well deserved wicket for John Embry. You see Graham Yallop comes down to push him through the onside, gets an inside edge onto his pad and it dollies up to Ian Botham fielding very close, short on the offside. Didn't quite time that. But the outfield is very quick. They are about to cut it off. And three more to border, and the hundred comes up for Australia. One hundred and two for four. And that's uh, another little milestone. They count those in the dressing room, and the pressure's on. Three figures on the board. Fewer than 50 to make. And that's well bowled. Out of a bit of rough stuff there. The border is gone for 40. That's 105 for five, and no one in this match now will make a half century. Quite astonishing. And a very awkward delivery indeed which, as you can see, bounces, flicks the handle or the glove, and pops up probably off Alan Border's body. There's a start for Rodney Marsh. Chris Old won't catch that. The outfield very quick. And a little touch of sensible aggression there. 109 for five. Shot for four. Too short twice in the last uh, four deliveries, John Embry. Once Rodney Marsh cracked away past point, and that one was a very good stroke from Kent. Hold him. 114 for six. Rodney Marsh goes, trying to hit it away through mid on. Across the line. 114 for six. And the crowd has gone noisily berserk. He's out. LBW. First ball and Botham's on a hat trick. First ball, Ray Bright. It looked to me as though it kept a bit low. It also looked to me as though it was absolutely plumb. 114 for seven now. And this is incredible. And in comes Ian Botham. And fires it in. It's a little bit short, but absolutely smacking him. Oh. And he wasn't far away from it either. the ground to Jeff Boycott. <laughs> Second attempt and Bob Taylor grabbed it. Lily is gone. It's 120 for eight. see how wide that delivery was and up she goes out she goes and thank goodness for that says Bob Taylor both again to Kent and is bowled in and that surely is going to be it a joyous triumphant both of them arms aloft again 121 for nine and the man that they so much needed to see the back of Martin Kent.
bow by both. I mean, an inspired spell here. He goes to 10, 121 for nine, with only Terry Alderman to come. And who would believe it? Well, what value this crowd have had today. They've rolled up in their thousands today, and this is what they've been looking forward to see. And Martin Kent whacking that through mid-wicket, pitched just outside the off-stump, went straight through and hit the off-stump. Well, Terry Alderman on his first tour, first major series, tremendous success with the ball, but rather fancy, he's got the jitters out there now. Alderman facing. And that's it this time. He's made sure he's taken five wickets. He grabs a stump. And another memorable victory for England. Tremendous performances. Australia finally dismissed on this fourth day of this fourth Cornhill test for 121. 151 they required. And tremendous scenes here at Edgebaston. This crowd who really never thought it was possible, but they came in their thousands hoping for such a result. And this is entirely what they've got. Tremendous performance by the English bowlers, but one must add a lot of fairly inept batting from the Australians here today. My choice, because it really finished the match, both of them. Um,